boom, fewer subscribers. Back again with these quick updates because trust, if it's not for and from King Mix Up, it's not credible. And honestly, people, I don't know what to believe with any of these people, especially the industry people. We already seen that Shinsia, Chess Mecca Boy, Russian, and and possibly TJ and others was in on this, um, you know, controversial topic that was we we talking about the past couple of days. Shensia fire stress maker boy, you know what I mean? Because honestly, Shensia has nothing to really put out there controversial to talk about. And you know her relationship with dress maker boy, whether sexual or business wise, is very controversial. And we've seen that um TJ um said this pertaining to um, you know, Shensia's major announcement that she got the new management deal with, you know, Sal and things and things. He said this all of this because of one girl, LOL. So no loyalty, no dead again. And and for some reason, I thought he was talking about dressmaker boys, you know, new girl that he's flexing with. Because, you know, the other day there was weird matching shoes, but nobody knew who she was, you know. And upon my investigation, I found out, you know, a she dressmaker boy I did a pose up with because... He definitely wouldn't disrespect Shensia calling her girl. Ladies, putting out a comment section. Don't you feel disrespected when a man or anybody call you a girl? That, like, call it, you know what? This is what Shensia had to say um, to response to um, his argument over the girl business. So, Shensia took to her Twitter page and said, Artist vex over me because Medea dress makeup boy entertainment when them come here. So obviously he's talking about Ding Dong or um, TJ, but more specifically TJ because he's not there no more, you know? Chuck this. Oh, me for invite you at my house and you want to try to kick me out. So basically... I think she's implying that TJ wanted to hit it, you know? You know what I mean? Like smashing the pum pum. You see me, I said, because dress make a boy, oh, it's a female, you know what I mean? I don't know, people. Honestly, this is looking staged to me because... And the reason why I know it's staged because TJ is never going to come out and say he wrote lyrics for Shensia. Yes, we all know TJ wrote lyrics for Shensia like Vibes Cartel. And we have to remember that TJ also has an album coming out so that's what the people in the industry do people they make up feuds you know they make up stories i'm pretty sure you've seen some fake stories dropped the other day to get y'all attention and let's be honest people shensia is interesting but not interesting like spice and spice has been locking down the internet for like the past couple of months now strong you know what i mean uh, between Spice and the Rasta Man and the Stepdaughter. You feel what I'm saying? Like, so she see them have to do some type of controversy thing to get her buzzing back. You feel what I'm saying? People putting out a comment section if you <clears throat> think this is just a publicity stunt for us to keep them talking. Just like the, the major announcement the other day had the whole internet was buzzing about a topic that I put out like a month and a half ago. See what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm just a messenger and I'm just running with the narrative. You get me? Also, people, like you see in the headline, Ramesh did not say Shansia was disloyal. In fact, that message was directed towards TJ. Like I said, people, I don't know if this is one big public stunt today that everybody talking about everybody. Because, you know, TJ and Shansia has um, albums dropping, but... It makes sense it would fit TJ because some people will only love you as much as they can use you. Their loyalty ends where the benefit stops. Um, like I said in the beginning, Dressmaker Boy sold all his shares in Shensia to Russian and um, Interscope, you know, and just true, you know, it's a rich immigrant thing. Russian say, you know what, my nigga, you can still eat a piece of the food and, and, and manage Shensia, you say. But TJ was the one to leave the group, you know what I mean? Let's be honest, TJ is the artist artist in a Just Make Up Boy entertainment camp, you know what I mean? But a lot of people seen that he wasn't getting his fair share because Just Make Up Boy was putting all the attention 
into Shensia. You know, maybe Dress Makeup Boy was like, yo, if we get Shensia to blow, then I'm going to blow, then you will blow. You see me, I said, but maybe TJ didn't see, didn't see it that way and, and just jumped ship and went to Sharon Burke and Solid Agency. You see what I'm saying? So I was just putting that out there as well. People putting out a comment section what you think about that aspect of the situation. Make sure you're commenting on every aspect that I told you to comment to because I'm going to be in the comment section. I want to see y'all opinions and I'm going to be responding to y'all, you know. So let's proceed. Now, since we're talking about dancehall international business, we might as well talk about Jamaica's number one stuntman, you know, Safari and, you know... These Spanish chicks are real crazy. We already see what Cardi B is doing to um, Offset. But, you know, it has been brought to our attention that, you know, Safari was in Jamaica partying with women and men while Erica Mena was home with her pregnant baby and the other child celebrating her birthday, you know. And you don't know the thing said with women, you know. They are very, very, very... Very, you know what? When them head tech them, you can put in the comment section if you want to elaborate. But Safari files court documents alleging that Erica Mena violating a standing order by damaging over fifty thousand dollar worth of his personal property. So the court document stated that on May 23rd, 2021, Erica poured bleach and cut the laces of Safari's custom sneakers. Man, I hope that he didn't, not the Back to the Future Nikes, man. I hope. He claims that they were worth up to $30,000. Erica also allegedly caused damage to a four-wheel motorbike and two motorcycles by pouring paint on the bikes and inside of their exhaust pipes and gas tanks. This incident allegedly took place just two days after Erica filed for divorce while she was eight months pregnant. Sounds like a mad woman to me, you know, but let's proceed. Safari claims that the whole debacle was allegedly caught on their home security cameras. Now he wants Erica to reimburse him nearly $50,000 for that total cost of damages. Additionally, he's reportedly considering pursuing felony charges for criminal destruction. Man, these love and hip hop checks must be, uh, they must have increased the pay. <laughs> For certain people on Love and Hip Hop because, yo, people, everything I just said in this review, I just think is a big publicity stunt, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, we just want some good music and we just want some good entertainment. So whether it's real or not, the story them still at. You see me, I say? And let's just take a quick watch and see what the stuntman is doing in Jamaica. Yeah, I'm going to look red. Mm-hmm. Do I look red? Do I look like I burn myself? Oh, lock in with the body chef. Yo, Shaniqua, come sat out. Come sat out, come sat out. Oh, 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 now, this part of the video is very important to people subscribed and people who's going to subscribe to this channel. First of all, hit that like button. We got to run so you get the latest in our dance, our news, music, reviews, and gossips. You feel what I'm saying? We need to get it up to a thousand. But importantly, people, a lot of my subscribers are saying that YouTube is unsubscribing them from my channel. You feel me? And they're doing that with every other somebody out there it's not just me i don't know what's wrong with youtube so people who subscribe to my channel make sure 
the notification bell is on because not only are they unsubscribing people and if they're not doing that, they're unnotifying them, you know what I mean? Because they upgrade the feature. So you got to click on notification bell, press personal and press all, you know what I mean? Therefore, you won't miss a beat. You feel what I'm saying? And you don't know the thing said. Big up all the new people uh, and, and share the videos to people, you know, WhatsApp, Twitter, Facebook. I don't know the thing said. Just stay posted, you know I'm about to drop another one.